I think I might have busted my wallet from buying all these trains. Nah, I'm joking with you. trains. Today we're going to be showing you what I got at the train festival in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. So let's see what I got. So what I got here is a Lionel um, floodlights tower is what you see here. It's been unboxed. It's on the layout. I couldn't show you guys but I'll show you in a couple of shots after this. It is amazing for yard tower lights to show the freight cars. And the second one is I got another Lionel floodlights tower. And the amazing surprise is that we got here is Atlas O Wisconsin Central Grain Covered Hopper. And let's show you right here this amazing hopper right here. It's been used, if you look on the top, it's been, has kind of dirt and grime on it. But I'm going to try to clean this. This is my first Wisconsin Central um, hopper I got since, you know, I'm a big Milwaukee Road guy and I am a big... Wisconsin Central person. So we're gonna put this car um, over here, undamaged. So let's get on to the drum roll, please, of which engine is gonna be shown right here. Is it this one or that one? Well, I gotta say it's gonna be this one. So let's show you right here, this amazing Wisconsin Central SD45. I got this at Summer Falls Trains. This was an amazing engine. It's been, I've been thinking a while of getting one and I finally got one. Don't ask about the rubber band. Um, so there's a problem right here is that this um, coupler is loose, like not support well. So I have a, did some MacGyver engineering to hold that up for a bit temporarily until I get a screwdriver that's more powerful enough to keep that thing in place. This thing has got Bluetooth. It doesn't got the changeable horns that you see on these modern Lionel stuff, but it's got Bluetooth. Amazing sound, amazing bass with it, and it's just a really, really amazing locomotive. We'll cut on to this engine when it's running after this amazing other line engine I'm going to show you in a couple minutes. And I'm not a big modern diesel engine guy. I'm more of like a steam engine, but some diesels call it to me like SD45s or old Alcos. And a lot of that, like old diesel locomotives, but this... ES-44 Canadian National um, supporting, our, supporting our troops. This is really sentimental to me like because my grandfather um, served in World War II in the Pacific Campaign. And I got a bunch of... This is one my, my dad went to go on. We have a Union Pacific one, Spirit of 1947. And I have a few uh, American Freedom trains I've been collecting. But this one I wanted to get because I love um, World War II, like I'm a big history person, but this engine's kind of very sentimental. It's got amazing horn, and this thing's got two speakers underneath. And we're gonna cut on, this is gonna be a review that we're gonna cut on to, but this is amazing, and, this, and it's the weird thing, this engine's got an air raid, so, an air raid siren connected to it. So, this has been fun showing you guys. So let's cut on to show you those amazing so here floodlights. Here we have one of the floodlights positioned um, over the yard. Um, these don't have LEDs in them, but they're amazing towers that stand over here. My idea is I wanted these to be shooting in the yard to get away the darkness to show like certain locomotives in here or freight cars in to light up the area. And here back there we have the other second floodlights tower. And don't worry, this over here is going to be covered up with tarp, so you don't see this big mess over here. It'll be pretty easy, but that's another project I'll be doing, so you guys won't be focused in over there at that mess. But this floodlights tower has a little bit of problems with the connection of the wires, kind of flick on or off, but you give it a good Fonzie slam to the table, it's, it lights up. But 
this yard, when I'll show you nighttime sessions, this yard lightens up really well. And since we got wires over there, the engine shed, it's got wired up too. So it'd be nice to do some photos and videos of the engines coming in or out of the shed. Amazing time at Train Fest with me, with me and my dad. I got to meet GFW Trains. They were there running their um, club layout. It was really awesome. I got to meet, I think, one of the, the guys that do the YouTube channel, uh, Curly curly hair i think he got he i got to know him pretty well talking about train stuff he let me got to run the vision line big boy it was really awesome i never never had the opportunity to run the modern legacy remotes i have one of those but it's not the one with a cooling whistle i have the old um cab cab one remote and i'm planning on getting one of those in the future but it was a really fun time it was awesome. I got to meet Ryan Kunkel there at the train festival. They were showing off, Lionel was showing off their Vision Line locomotives and their new rolling stock. Got to see one of their um, sea liners. It was really awesome, guys. So let's cut on to these amazing locomotives running.
Well, thank you guys for sticking around for this awesome um, showing off the trains that I got at Train Fest. This is considered a part one since November 20th. Our club that I have, that I'm part of, is hosting a train show that I'll be going to. We're not going to be focusing on, on railroad cars or diesel locomotives. We may, but I'm just thinking of getting some more buildings, some sceneries to spruce up the layout even more. And, uh, and after these videos, I'll be showing on um, the videos at um, running the Vision Line Big Boy at GFW um, Trains and showing other pictures of what I took and pictures of there. So thank you guys for joining. Stay safe and have an awesome Friday and have a good weekend.